Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome back to the new video for 1.1 reaction today. In this video, what we're going to learn is actually define the weight law and order of the reaction. So on your notes, it will be on page 3. Okay, so what is weight law? Weight law, or other name for it, is weight equation. Is an equation that relates the rate of reaction to the weight constant and the concentration of the reactant raised to some powers. Okay, for this given equation, we have A and B as our reactant. So that's why rate is uh, directly proportional to concentration of A and B. Okay, but then uh, here when we include the rate constant, so from the proportionality symbol, we're going to equal to K, which is our rate constant here. And then concentration of the reactant raised to some powers okay so here is x and y okay so what is actually x and y x and y2 is actually order of reaction okay so from here the order of reaction does not depend on the stoichiometry if it depends on stoichiometry here i have must written down is as small a at the point small b but no for the order of the reaction, the x and y is actually only can can only be determined experimentally. Okay, so macam mana ni? We have learned about differential rate equation, the uh, rate expression, then about rate law. Okay, so just to remind you again what is what we have learned previously. So from the equation itself, okay, if we learn from our differential rate equation, okay, for differential rate equation. Ataupun rate expression, senang nak ingat for the differential rate, differential rate, so dia ada dA over dt lah, uh, over time, change in concentration over time. Okay, so here, we got for the differential rate equation, we're going to include our reactant and our product. As well, we will include our stoichiometry in the equation. So for here, we have our small a, kan? so negative 1 over a, dA over dt. And then we're going to include as well our not only about our reactant, when negative, the product will be positive. Okay, so that is what we have learned previously. Ataupun, uh, the other name for differential rate equation, as you can see from the question itself, question G dengan H, uh, it is mentioned, ataupun it is defined as rate expression juga. But then, what is rate law? Okay, the thing that we learned in this video. Rate law ni, we're only going to write down for it, still rate equal to K, which is our rate constant. Okay. And then, uh, concentration of the reactant. Only the reactant. Even though we have species C and D, uh, we're not going to include it. Only A and B sahaja. Okay, and then, raised to the sum power 2. Sum power 2 does not depend on the stoichiometry. Itu, we're going to determine it later. Okay. So, uh, raised to the sum power ni, we call it as order of reaction. So, what is actually order of reaction? So, here is the definition. Order of reaction is a numerical value. So, it could be zero as well. We're going to learn zero order, first order, second order, third order, tak belajar. That shows how the concentration of one species change when the amount of another species changes in a chemical reaction. So, that is the definition itself lah. Okay, uh, no worries. Nanti kita akan belajar lagi detail lagi what is uh, zero order, first order, second order. So, this is only the definition itself. Okay. But then here it mentioned that the order of reaction is not related to the stoichiometric coefficient of the reactants in the balanced chemical equation. Again, from here we know that uh, order of reaction ni, yang our to the power of ni, does not depend on the stoichiometry. We have to look based upon our weight law. Okay, so let's look for example A here. So what we have here is CH3CHO, our reactant. I will form product CH4 and CO gas. Okay, but then here it has given to you the rate law itself. Rate is equal to K CH3 CHO raised to the power of 2. Okay, so this is our rate law, right? Okay, but we just not remind you again what is our differential rate equation. For the differential rate equation, here is the differential rate equation for this equation. Okay, again, uh, negative for the reactant since the uh, uh, the in front of the species is 1, so that's why I do not include 1 over 1 lah. Okay, and then for the product must have a positive sign. Okay, so that is differential rate. Tapi sekarang ni, from the rate law, it mentioned that the order of reaction tu is actually, uh, rate law ni uh, uh, relates the concentration of the reactant 
Race to the some power ni, this is the order of fraction. So, dalam case ni, here he give you 2. So, order of reaction dalam case ni is actually 2. Reaction dia 2. Okay, why 2? Sebab it is given on the weight law itself. Uh, does not depend on the stoichiometry, dia tidak. We're going to look for some based upon our weight law. So, overall order of the reaction, so kat sini this only 2, so we're going to write down here 2. Again, for the order of reaction tu, look based upon our weight law here. Okay, so if you're unsure, jangan kita tengok question B. So, question B, we have NO gas plus O2 gas to form 2 NO2 gas. Okay, so the rate law is given to you. So, order of reaction with respect to NO. So, kita tengok NO kat sini, raised to the power of 1. Sini is actually here, is 1. So, if raised to the power of 1, it's fine if you do not write down the value itself. It is understood lah. If there is no uh, value written down here, so it means that it is raised to the power of 1. So, order of reaction with respect to NO is actually 1. And order of reaction, uh, order of reaction with respect to O2, we're going to look at the indices here. It's actually 2. Okay, so from here, we know that. So, we can see the order of reaction does not depend on stoichiometry. For example, here NO can raise to the power of 1, kan? But then, when we saw the stoichiometry here, it mentioned 2. Uh, so, does not depend. Kalau O2 ni pula, order of reaction dia is 2, we have a word in law. But then when we look at the equation itself, here is 1. So again, order of reaction here. Order of reaction is not related to the stoichiometric coefficient of the reactants. Uh, so we're going to look based upon our uh, rate law sahaja. So overall order of reaction, we're going to add up the, uh, these two. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Okay. So, for question C, I believe you could try yourself. So, let's look for question D pula. So, for question D, we have CH4 gas plus H2O equal to 3H2 gas plus CO gas. Okay, so from here, we mentioned that the rate is equal to KH2O to the power of 2. So, from the rate law, we mentioned here we only have one species. But then, based upon the equation, we have CH4 kan? So, where does the CH4 go? Actually, CH4 ni, uh, dia macam ni lah. CH4 is actually to the power of 0. Remember, contohnya if uh, 20 to the power of 0, the value is actually is equal to 1. So, kalau 1 tu, do we have to write it down? There's no need for you to write it down as well. Sama lah macam kat sini kan? It's actually an O to the power of 1. But 1 is not written down. So, CH4 ni, raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So, that's why it is not written down. So, how are we going to write it down? Order of reaction with respect to CH4. Okay, CH4, this is actually raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1, kan? It is not written. So, here, uh, the order of reaction CH4 is 0. But then, order of reaction with respect to H2O, here, it mentioned it is 2. So, overall order of the reaction is actually 2. Okay. Uh, last one. We're going to look at E. So here, uh, H2O2 plus 3I minus plus 2H plus. Okay, but then rate is equal to KH2O2 here, I minus here. Okay, H plus is not written down. So maknanya dekat sini, H plus kita is actually H plus to the power of 0. If you don't want to write it down, it's fine. I'm just going to uh, write it down just to make it clearer lah. Okay, so here, with respect to H2O2, it's kat sini, to the power of 1. The same goes for uh, I minus pun to the power of 1. If it's uh, to the power of 0, it is not written down lah actually. Okay, and then H plus, sebenarnya there's none in the equation kan. So, we know it's to the power of 0. So, here is actually 0. So, overall order, we're just going to add up these three, uh, these three value. So, we get 2. Okay, so that is actually order of the reaction. Remember, order of the reaction is not related to the stoichiometric coefficient. We're going to look based upon our rate law. Okay, remember, differential rate equation, ataupun rate expression, is different from our rate law, ataupun rate equation. So, please, uh, do not in your notes as well. Uh, include that in your notes. Okay, so this video is actually just to um, introduce you to what is, how to write down the rate law, and what is the order of the reaction. Again, order of reaction to, we can only be determined experimentally.